Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerdale. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Last we left off we discovered that the Zentaurum are behind this which is something we actually knew from the beginning. So I don't know why it was really made that much of a big deal but okay that might just be me. Anyhow I'm just taking a quick look, look, look through this guy's stuff to see if he has anything else. That's chainmail. And that's better than my hide armor, but I can't afford it. <coughs> Burning light shield, which is just about as good as my current shield. Yep. The barbarian shield, on the other hand, is still approximately the same. I know, I, I like the idea of not being knocked back, and these heavy shields are just as good as my light shield, so we're, yeah, we're done here. Anyways, I said that I was going to do this great quest, and I shall. Because I like to prolong my pain. They're everywhere. They're absolutely mad. I've narrowly escaped from my with my life from the East Worker Camp. A bunch of crazed dwarves have broken in and started tearing the place to pieces. Please, you must come to our aid once more. My boss has agreed to pay you a handsome sum if, of gold if you dispose of these dwarves. I mean, duh. Thank you, please hurry. They're destroying everything. Everything! Kind of annoying that you can only take one quest at a time in this, but then again, I suppose it makes a little bit of sense if, you know, everything's all linear-ish. Linear-ish. Uh, yep, this way. And I suppose the quests would get, like, step on one another's toes if I were to try to complete them. This game does seem to have slight problems loading multiple things all at once. I mean, yep. A floating morning star is still there. When we exit this area, I'm gonna miss that floating morning star. East Workers Camp. Well, I think by the time we're done here, they'll probably have actually destroyed themselves, so I don't know what we're worried about. You know, I, I guess the property damage is nasty side effect of all of this stuff going down. Ten of these crazy dwarves, huh? You know, I might have to use this for a D&D &D idea at some point. Kill all the crazy ass dwarves who are crazy. Of course, that might just be every other day that we, I decide to have a campaign that's based around Draugr. Draugr. How do people pronounce that? I always pronounced it Draugr. Draugr. Something like that. Draugr. I don't know. I'm not even sure the entire difference between regular dwarves and Draugr, if only because besides... Besides the apparent uh, need to make Rugar psionic, maybe. I don't know. I'm not even sure if that's a constantly canon thing that is done in D and D versus. Well, that's the last of them. Uh, I was expecting that to be a little bit more in depth. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a little bit more in depth. I mean, we are talking about Daggerdale here. Which, mind you, the premise of Daggerdale isn't too terrible. So far. Like, I I've been playing like two hours of this straight. And, you know, I can see where people think it's bad, but it's no worse than your Baldur's Gate Dark Alliances or any other D&D hack and slash games really again rough around the edges but playable apparently this also has multiplayer but since game spy has gone down that's no longer a thing that you can do they've been dealt with then this is the worst day ever I only just painted my front door before the goblins reared their ugly heads now those crazy dwarves have gone in and caused so much damage 
I wonder what else will go wrong today. Mm. My parents were right. Should have taken that job in Dagger Falls. Mm. Nothing exciting ever happens there. Oh, sorry to ramble like mm. that. Here's your reward for coming to our aid. Mm. Many thanks. I'm mostly in it for the experience at this point. I got a feeling I missed a couple of side quests, but, you know, a little on the don't care side. Mm -hmm. Goblins are the least of our worries. We must get past them to defeat the Zins. Mm -hmm. I speak for all dwarves when I say it's an honor to open these mm -hmm. gates. Let me know when you're ready to proceed. Let's do it. There are no turning back once the gates are open. Sorry, I just attempted murder on your Paxton, buddy. Yes, yes, I am in fact great. I am awesome, and I shall deal with both the goblins and the Zentarum. Mm -hmm. The player's technical genius will get you in that tower in no time. Then you can punish Resless for all the troubles he's caused. Got it? I'm not going that way. Or is Ayer's frame framing Yep. They were waiting for us. Run! Ooh, that's a lot of gobbies. Those lizard folk? For restless and glory of burn. Okay, these goblins look freaking hardcore. I like it. Stop the ballista! How do I stop the ballista? Do I just murder all the goblins on it? It seems to be the case. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, guys? Am I damaging the ballista? What am I doing with the ballista? Am I damaging the ballista? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, that's a freaking big ass lizard folk, dude. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm supposed to be killing brutes. Focus on the brute. Focus on the brute. One brute dead. Uh. I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing this all on my lonesome. Maybe I should have kept my big ass axe. Pickaxe. You guys know which one I'm talking about. The one that I murdered everyone with. Uh, okay. Come on. None of you other dwarves could have stuck around to assist. None of you. I leave one lone dwarf to deal with all the troubles of the entire kin. Oh good, they're resting. Excellent. No, don't focus on other ones. Just this one. Also, I'm not entirely sure how much of a threat you guys are if uh, one lone dwarven cleric is doing all that he can to murder you lot. Arrest him! Those goblins were waiting for us. Wait, me? What is this now? Oh, not Paxton. Ariel, you've lost your mind. Stand down. You were poisoning our water with the goblins' infernal dryer dust. I've no clue what your plans with Relis were, but I it ends here. Get him out of my sight. Heal. Yeah. And I got an achievement. Oh. Is this good stuff? Is this stuff that I should equip right now? No. No, I can't. Oh, but that's so damn good. Wait, is it? 
I mean, the damage is roughly better because of the minimum damage. Every weapon plus... Every weapon plus adds pl 1 to 8 critical damage instead of 1 to 6. So what's that? 2d6? Uh, burning higher... Oh! Fire resistant. Oh. Balls. Nope. Uh-uh. Just no. Well, at least they gave me a bunch of loot to sell. Got that going for me at the least. Loading! New area! Hopefully. Dickdale. Hey, look at that. We're still underground. Sup, merchant. I got a bunch of tasty stuff to sell to you because it's all worthless. Maybe except for that. No, I am not going to wear the armor that makes it look like I am a goddamn smurf again. Don't know why anyone thinks I will. Any better battle? Oh, an elven great bow. El uh, war shield. None of this is any good to me. What this stuff? Any of it good? Burning hide armor? No. Dark arrow keep. Okay, how about this? I'm going to save. I'm going to buy this supposedly better armor. And if it makes me look like a smurf, I'm going to reload. Savvy? Frick. Just... Frick. Yeah, there we go. Oh, might as well as talk mm -hmm. to Master Air. Without Paxton, it looks like I have to run this mine. Never imagined it'd be in this mm -hmm. position. The goblins have retreated into the b tower base. Kill their chief and I can try and find a way up the tower. If you find any Jaya dust inside, destroy it. Careful. I've heard rumors that Resless has a Skull Lord guarding the path up the tower. I don't know what a scar lo Skull Lord is, but it does sound nasty. Right, so we are not buying that uh, stuff from ye. I am glad that the saving does put me like right where I had actually saved. Because that would have pissed me right the heck off. Plus 9% divine radiant damage. What? So like you actually have to be doing radiant damage in order to do more radiant damage with that? That kind of wording has always irked me when it came to these games. Well, time to learn a new map. Go to the tower storage area. That's what we're doing. We're also smashing any barrels on the way because I can. <coughs> do 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 da 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 da. Do they have to make this such a winding pathway? Bad enough, I'm gonna have to open this door and wait for it to load. So, more goblins, right? Yep. You sure were a goblin. Wait, why am I fighting off against level 2 goblins again still? Well, I guess I am still only level 3, so... Kill the goblin scout. Yeah, I don't think I'll invest in that skill again. Or maybe I should. I can't really tell yet. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, next level is going to be when I can level up in, uh, two of my ability scores again. 
Come on. Murder. Sweet, sweet level ups. Also, I had just noticed I got some more hide armor. It looks exactly the same. Decaying Mordenkrad of Combustion. I'll bite. Ah. Oh, of course, it's a two hander. Oh, wait. According to this, I still have my light sheet. I'm slightly confused. Because it doesn't say it's a two handed weapon. But the damage is clearly of that of a two handed weapon. Ah. Uh. Alright. Um. I'm gonna immediately go back on what I said and going to get. Daunting Light. Let's see. I suppose I should get some other proficiencies, but I just love the axe. So I'm gonna go with the axe. Ability scores go up. Uh, yeah. Glorious! I'm better with the axes, I'm better with... I bet you never saw this coming, old man. All those years filling my head with dreams of dwarven rule returning to Thetamar. What's the point? Restless will rule this mine. Planting the dryad dust in my satchel wasn't enough, you crazy fool. You had to deliver me to the goblins. Ha, ah, you might as well know we planted and poisoned the rest of the water supply too. I'm no longer a slave to you or any of those other fools in the mine. I'm going to run the mines for Restless. Best of all, they think you did it. You're insane. Someone's been having at it their own dryad dust. Ah! Stupid freaking cold damage dealing mofo. And of course, there's a freaking controller. Where are they? Shaman. Yeah, that one. Oh, pillar in the way. No, I think I had at one point attempted to play this with uh, mouse and keyboard way, way long back. Oh, it's you that's doing the thing that I don't like. Kind of surprised he wasn't yelling. Wait, I'm sorry. Are the two controllers just constantly raising and healing each other? This is what you want to do to me, game? You annoy me and sicken me greatly. Well, luckily they seem to work on the power basis. In that they could only raise so many times a day. Help me! No help me! Ah, fine, I'll help. No idea the magnitude of what you have done. I am forever in your debt. I must return to Air and warn him about Garbo. I just hope my old friend believes me. And now I to destroy the goblins. Giant supply. That's a lot of giant supply. This hand axe does more damage. I'm gonna use it. I suppose I should sell that. Okay. Oh. How the hell did you guys get in there? Yep. Um. Can I... Was I supposed to run away? Oh no. Okay, can I... Can I go back up and actually destroy the... The... Dust. Yes, good. And destroy. Oh. Crazed dwarf. Oh, I missed you. Destroy. Oh. I didn't know that dryad dust was explosive. 
but apparently Dryad Dust is explosive. Die! Ah! Who's the bastard that keeps on giving the goblins frost weaponry? Because he should stop. I have ranged attacks. Why am I hitting it with my freaking face? Why am I stupid and hitting it with my face? Can I hit it with... Or is this one of those I have to hit it with melee things? Well... At least that did a bunch of damage to the sharpshooters. Not to mention glitched one of them out. You, you okay, buddy? Do you not know that you're dead? I don't think he knows that he's dead. Decaying Leather Helm. Yep, that sounds... Healthy. There we go. I just need to be stupid careful with how I aim it. Gotcha. Wonder if I could have actually. Oh, nope, he's dead now. Okay. Destroy. So just two more barrels. That's alright. I can deal with two more barrels. Can I deal with the hordes in front of the said barrels? Oh. I don't even have to deal with it anymore. Uh, weird. I was expecting at least 20 more goblins. At minimum. But I'm kind of happy not to deal with any more of them. I stand corrected. Alright, so there's a goblin controller here, isn't there? Yep, this guy. You're Garbo Goblin! Oh wait, we have a guy named Goblin. Or Garbo already, so what am I talking about? I don't know. That is one of the things about hack and slash is that it's a little bit difficult to let's play. It's hard to come up with things that are interesting to talk about on your lonesome when you're, you know, doing nothing but the murder. I mean, come on, there's, there's not much to talk about of this game. There's no real... Oh lord. There's no real strategy to speak of. There is healing. There is AOE attacks. There is seeing what numbers are higher than other numbers. Hit the shaman. Thank you. And then there's just railing on the X button until things die. Am I seriously going all the way out and all the way back up to talk to Ayers. But I slightly miffed if that's the case. Especially if there's hordes upon goblins. In the oh no, I'm talking. I gotta locate the goblin chief and then murder him. I'm cool with this. Makes sense why there's a butt ton of goblins now. You know, beyond there being goblin hordes and whatnot. What is this? Oh, it's showing me the actual targets. Come on, Gabos. Whoa, Zentarum dude, out of nowhere. Ah, oh, level 6 minions now. Also, the Zentarum are pansies. If, you know, that Zent guy was any indication of their... Kill ability. You missed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Does way too little damage to consecutively do. Yeah, so much hit points. 
Alright. Oh, the Goblin Chief is right over here then. You would feed my camp. We'll feast on your bones. Resless will reward me well. I mean, he can't do that if you did. I mean, he could try to reward you. I think he could raise you from the dead as a reward for your attempt at trying to do the things, but I don't think that worshippers of Bane are all that nice of guys in that they will raise you from the dead unless they see some sort of strategic value in you. In which case, I don't think he will see the strategic value in a goblin. That's a little mean of me to say. I almost want to apologize. Almost. But not really. Bunch of lurkers out of nowhere, too. Oh, crap. My health is lower than I thought it was. Come on. Gotta kill the dudes with ice, because they're the ones that are doing the worst to me. Come on. There we go. We're finally on the go. Son of a bitch and message. I just want to collect this stuff in case it's all like, oh, you gotta wait to collect it. And I'll be all like, no, I want to collect it now. And dead. Son of a bitch. Okay. More goblin cutters, so. So it's more the presence of the massive number of them that have caught me off guard than the actual threat of the Goblin Chieftain. In case anyone was like, I was actually worried for a moment. Of which I am not. That's because they are still not that much of a threat. Well. How dare you interfere? Do you have any idea how long I've been planning all this? Won't even make it up that tower, not with Restless's mm -hmm. Skull Lord in your way. Besides, you think I'll let you stop... Let you hand me the packs in? You'll never stop me from poisoning them. You are level one. Ah, uh, what the hell was that? No, stop. Stop in Garbo. Garbo the garbage guy. I do hope you're joking with this game. There. Freaking hell. All he was doing was moseying along. I could barely stop him in time simply because, oh hey, BT dubs. I'ma just keep walking. Well, I wanna know what that shimmering sound was. <sighs> right, another Goblin Shaman. Come on, guy. Ayers is right up those stairs. Okay. Come on. Or oh, lots of them. I thought because I killed your Goblin Chief that I wouldn't have much worry of you. Like, usually you guys will just be all like... He killed our leader! We must run! Apparently is not the case in this particular game. I mean, they have all these, uh... Models to use. Why not use them, right? Yeah, that's it. There. Freaking A. Wait, was that a chest? No, it's not a chest. I'm not even gonna bother with those barrels. I just oh freaking drop it. All right, let's see if I can't just uh, mosey on past you guys here, because you guys are a lot. Hehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like seeing them explode though. This is supposed to be a fair fight, right? Like I'm supposed to be worried about my dying in this? More or less the monsters are just taxing. It takes like a whole minute to deal with them. I don't even know how many goblins I've killed. Freaking goblin side, man. It's a nasty thing. Alright. There we are. Safe place to be, relatively. Paxton explained everything. Garbo's betrayal surprised us all. Here is a reward for your troubles, and you can count on me to find your way up that tower. Words can't describe my gratitude. Garbo is gone, and my now our mind can rebuild. Truly are the hero of Thethiamar. Oh. Okay, I thought that was like a giant freaking statue over me or some shite. And you still have nothing of value to me. Weaponry wise. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I guess we're continuing to try to get up into this tower. Up and into and up this tower. Yes, those are the words. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.